well for the month of August. All right, first of all, what I'm wearing is the Yuki, the Tsuri Yuki dress. And this is in this olive green that I got from, I got this fabric from Discount Fabric Outlet. And I made this a while ago, but I'll stand up and show you. This one I didn't put a pocket in. I wish I had a, but. So here it is. It goes right above my knees. And I love it. Super comfy. Lightweight, cute, classic, comfortable. All right, so let's get into this sew and tell. So first of all, I made this McCall's pattern. This is McCall 6957. And I made this in a yellow and white polka dot knit for my aunt. So I don't have it with me, but it was pretty easy to make. It says easy. I think I, I might have shortened it a little bit, or did I? No, I think I, since it said petite, I figured it was already gonna be short enough. So I think I went with a full length, but yeah. So I'll pop in some pictures of this. Before I go change into my next make, I wanted to show some things, other things that I made that are not garments. So I made two pillows for my friend. Uh, she wanted these lounge chair pillows and she sent me a picture of what she wanted. And so I made two of them for her. Uh, one was in this blue with pineapple fabric and the other one was in this like, kind of like a Hawaiian shirt with green leaves all over it. So they came out really cute. I really like them. So now my mom wants one, so I'm gonna make her one. Uh, so I made those two pillows and I made some jewelry. First of all, I made these. They're keys. I made some other key. I made another pair of key earrings. They were silver, but I sold them. But I'll pop in a picture. So I made those. I made some more safety pin earrings. I made these in the silver and I made a pair in gold just like these. These aren't the vintage safety pins that I've been wearing, but they're more like kind of like made for, for earrings almost, more stylish. But yeah, I made uh, these and the gold ones. The gold ones uh, I've sold, so. I made these little earrings, my initials. Out of this uh, baseboard or boarding that I had, it was some board that I had, I think I got it with uh, some of my shelving units. And it's kind of like a, just a little, like a thick piece of cardboard that's been flattened. So you can see how thick it is. It's not, it's not that thick, but it's really sturdy. And I made this with my Cricut and I painted the back with yellow and I just painted that with some acrylic paint. And they're super lightweight. Let me try them on. I made these too, by the way, but I made these in September. <laughs> but yeah, I made those. So that's how those look. Shears, earrings that are scissors. Made those. I'll try these on too. So you can see how long they are. So those are my shears. These are super lightweight also. So you can see how long they are. And I also made these in like a bronzy color. I can't seem to untangle this one. But 
anyways, that's how it looks. It has a little pearl in, in the middle and they're the same, same length as these, but they came like different in different packaging. tape measurement earrings. I was looking for some tape measurements, some little tape measurements, so I found those. And it was, these are in kind of like the same material as these. It's kind of like a little, like a, a cardboard, but really, really sturdy cardboard. And these are just white on the back. And I just bought, I found these in a little, in a package, um, a bag with all these little other goodies or vintage items. And I just put the holes in them to make and put the, the earring hooks on them. So, uh, what else did I make that was non-clothing related? I think that's it. All right, let me go change it to my next make. And here's my next make. This is the Wixton dress. I made the shorter length. The first one I made, it was like down like midi length, basically. This one I made shorter. Um, the first one that I made was supposed to be the short length, but I took that, I made that short length and shortened it by about five inches. So now this one is above my knee. It has pockets. And these are just patch pockets. You've probably seen a million of these made. I got this fabric from my mother-in-law. It was gifted to me. It has daisies on it. I love this fabric. <laughs> and I'm so glad I found the perfect pattern to make something with this gorgeous fabric. So this is just a, a woven, but it has a little, it has a tiny bit of stretch. Oh, and that's what the pattern looks like. So I, like I said, I made this, the short length here and I just shortened it. So the first one I made, you, you would have thought it was this length, but it was actually this length. So I just shortened this, um, this one by, like I said, a few inches. But I like both lengths though. I'm not sure which one I like better, but. And then I didn't make the belt either because I just kind of wanted a loose fitting dress slash tunic. So, all right, let me go change it to my next make. Here's my next make. This is the Laura dress by Rebecca Page. By the way, I forgot to mention the last dress that I had on, the uh, Wixton dress that was a size six. This is size small, braided out to a medium. And this is, this is the mid thigh length. It has four different lengths. It has the top, it has the mid thigh length, and then it has the above the knee length. This is the mid thigh length. So. As you can see, it's mid-thigh. <laughs> it's a little short than I prefer, but it's long, it has, it's a high low hem. So you can see that it's longer in the back and it has a split. So yeah, I did a review, a whole review about this, the Laura dress, but yeah, this is, this fabric is a woven, but it has some stretch to it. I got this fabric from fabric.com, 
but yeah, I love this dress, so. You can see it up close. I struggle with the measurements for this dress, but I think this, um, this sizing is actually uh, what I'm gonna go with with my next makes of this dress because I do plan to make some more. I'm gonna probably make the front hem a little longer, maybe by about two inches. I like my dresses like about two to three inches above my knees. So, all right, let me go change into my next make. is my next make. This is the same pattern as the last one. This is also the lower dress. And this is the above the knee length. <laughs> so as you can see, it's not much difference. The black one that I just had on, I didn't actually have it hemmed. It was, I just searched the hem of it. But this one I actually did hem with some bias tape. So it didn't take it up too much. Like maybe less than half an inch, I think. So you can see that it's almost, it's hitting me mid thigh, just like the last one. This is small at the top, large at the bottom. So I figured I wanted to try the large at the bottom to see how it fits, because the, the medium at the bottom was fine, but that was a stretch woven. So I wanted to try the large at the bottom to see how that would work, if it would be too big or if it would fit me uh, nicely in just a plain woven with no stretch. So that's why I went ahead and did a large at the bottom. And this is just a straight woven fabric. I got this fabric from Walmart. So it's just basically a quilting cotton. I do have a little bit more room in my hips. So it actually kind of sticks out more than my hips do. But I still, I'm fine with that. I still like the shape of it. So you can see that it gives you like uh, a shape because it's, it is a cocoon dress, so, and then I've kept like the small at the top because that's um, what the size, the measurements it was putting me at is at a small. And this pattern, I talk about it in my review, but this pattern, it says to go with your bust measurements, but because I'm pear shaped, that didn't work out for me, so I had to grade out to a bigger size at the bottom. So, that's what that looks like. And I have one more make that I wanted to talk about. And that's this. It's the Gina Renee t-shirt dress. I don't have it with me because it's dirty. I wore it yesterday actually, and it got messed up. So I don't have it, but I do have some pictures I'll pop in of me wearing it. I made a size, what size did I make? I made a size 14. Yeah, and then I, I did go with the contrasting fabric on top for the bodice. And yeah, the 14 fits me. It's a little uh, loose at the top, kind of has a, a looser feel. So, I'm going to try a small at the bottom or smaller size at the bottom and maybe stick with the size 14 in the body of it and see how I like to fit that. So yeah, but I love it. It's really comfortable. It's cute. I made it in a gray, it's gray at the top and then a yellow and white polka dot at the bottom. And it's really cute. All right, I think that's all of my mates. Oh, a couple more things that I made. I made um, 
some banners for the kids for their bedroom. So I put their names on them and Tim hung them up in their bedroom uh, yesterday. So, and they looked really cute. So I'll pop in some pictures of those. I think that's it. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.